In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change your aspect ratio in Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start off by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to File, New, Sequence, and then I'm gonna go down under Digital SLR, select down that tab, and then under 1080p, I want to select DSLR, 1080p, 24, and then press OK. Now what I want to do is go up to Sequence, then go down to Sequence Settings. And right now my video is currently at a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And that's going to be that traditional style landscape video that you're used to seeing on YouTube. So if I click OK and I drag my video down onto the timeline, you're going to see that it's going to fill the frame completely. But if I don't want to use that 16 by 9 aspect ratio, I can change it by just simply going back over to the Sequence Settings and then going down to where it says frame size. And let's start off with changing it to what would be an Instagram story or maybe a TikTok video. So we're gonna use that nine by 16 aspect ratio. So the first thing I'm gonna do is change 1920 to 1080, and then I'm gonna change this to 1920. And then I click off, you can see I've now changed it to that nine by 16 aspect ratio, and then I'm just gonna press okay. If this table pops up, don't worry about it, just go ahead and press okay. And now I've created that nine by 16 vertical video. And this is gonna take up the most real estate on mobile. Next, what I wanna do is go up to the editing tab and I'm just gonna scale this up to the point to where it completely fills the frame. And I can make small adjustments here. That's gonna be that nine by 16 aspect ratio. But we do have some other options. Go back up here to sequence, sequence settings. And next is going to be that four by five aspect ratio. And this is typically used for like portraits and things you see on Instagram. In order to create that, I'm just gonna change this to 1200 by 1500 and then press okay. And again, if this table comes up, just press okay again. And then I'm just gonna scale this up a little bit and that looks pretty good to me. Another option that you have is gonna be the square video that you see a lot on Instagram. So I'm gonna just change this to 1920 by 1920 and it's gonna give you that one by one aspect ratio and then just press okay, press okay again. And that has that square video. In order to fix this, I'm just gonna select the video and scale this up a little bit till the frame is completely filled. And that looks pretty good to me. The last option you have is kind of a secret and not very many people know about it. It's gonna be that 21 by nine aspect ratio. That 21 by nine is gonna be that cinematic widescreen look that you see in a lot of movies and theaters. So in order to achieve this look, I'm just gonna change this to 2560 by 1080. And this is gonna give us that 21 by nine aspect ratio. So notice it became a lot wider and that's because the black bars when you upload it to YouTube are gonna be at the very top and at the very bottom and this isn't going to take away from your quality at all. I know a lot of people what they'll do is they'll add those black bars to the video manually and that's fine. I have a link to that down in the description of this video if you wanna download those. You can by all means do that but if you wanna make sure that the quality looks good or do what is traditionally done with movies, you're gonna use that 21 by nine aspect ratio instead. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.